Casey, this is Sanji's Kitchen and we're doing uh, fried rice. Well, technically this should be corned beef fried rice, but the recipe doesn't indicate that. Keep in mind when you're using the cookbook, which is probably going to be here, this thing does not tell how what temperature to do for stovetop sauces. Do I need to put it on a medium or a medium high? So I'm putting it on medium uh, high. Yeah, could work. Just in case, but also here's the one corn beef. I'm roughly guessing this is about two ounces worth. Oh, if you're wondering why this is a portion, so much, it's a sack of blood. Now the recipe usually cut, does call for mushrooms, but I haven't tried mushrooms, and since I don't want to cut a full onion, you can use mince onions, which are a nice substitute. So I did about what I believe is two ounces of corned beef, and we're going to just slowly up the cutting board. The nice thing about cooking is it's experimentation. I also hear that sizzle. Yeah. Basically, we're gonna cook this beef until all of it's fully cooked, then we're gonna be adding all the eggs and stuff. We're also cooking the rice, I'm gonna quickly show you how I prepared my rice and how you should safely prepare your rice. As remember, always wash your rice. And I know I'm gonna say it in the little flashback video, but it's true. Also, hear the sound of the sizzling meat. We're gonna let this cook for, I don't know how long, but we're gonna dry it and make sure everything is at eternal temperature of, I believe, 165 That's degrees. That's correct, yeah. It just says till done. Until done. Yeah, basically like that. So when cooked. Yeah, when cooked. So we'll see you. Hopefully it's more fully cooked. This is fully cooked and also as the rice is still cooking. So we'll see you in just a quick second. How are you else is going? Alright, we're gonna lay the beef cook, so what we're gonna do is we're going to beat our eggs. Oh we I swear you can can or cannot wear gloves. I like to wear gloves because it's can be messy. So we're gonna crack our eggs. Like so. Drop them. This is how you don't get eggshells still, kids. See, look at that. Perfect crack, no pieces. Look at, can you see any eggshell in that? I don't think so. Egg fact! Now sometimes you can use a whisk, sometimes you can use a fork. We're gonna go with forks, so you're gonna make sure you break the yolks first, and then you're gonna beat them. Gonna... Mainly because if we're doing fried rice, this recipe calls for these to be eggs to be beaten like crazy. You want to beat this, shake this, and beat this like... Can't think of a good analogy at the moment. Jim Ross used to say government mule. No. Also, making sure to keep an eye on the beef to make sure that it is not frying. I know that some of the onions are starting to get burnt, but it's okay. Oh, that's fine. Okay. That looks beaten enough. We're gonna have a look at the beef here real quick. Yes, I know that some of these are burnt, but it's okay. But also, look how a couple of these put that nice chart on the side of it. Mm -hmm. Whenever you're in the kitchen, you just need one of these. These will tell you the entire temperatures of everything. And the one that we have to be on is around 164 a beef. So we're going to poke one very carefully. 165? 165 is for poultry. Okay. Well, but also, each temperatures on here are going to be completely different. I don't care if this may or may not be in focus. Fair enough. Yeah. But we're, we want a sweet temperature between 160 and 170. We'll so we're going to stick it in one, like so. We're actually, I knew these would be medium rare. Just like that, you But it's okay. We're just going to leave this off to the side. We're going to add, just in case, we're going to add a little bit. I've been trying to add more vegetable oil to this as we're cooking it. Just in case. I know this is to add more into the recipe, but because we have different ch chops of the beef. Oops. That can happen in the sandwich, but it's okay. It's all good. And to make sure we still keep this nice and fresh, you're gonna put the, we're gonna do another half tablespoon of, it's gonna be kind of, we're gonna spray it over, like so. We'll save the last half when we mix everything in together. This will probably take me a couple more minutes, but otherwise, it's coming along kind of well. Smells really good. Yay. Since we're now at the point, I feel like we're going to be comfortable, plus we don't want the rest of the mint onions to burn, plus it looks like these are already starting to get to a nice medium rare medium, so that's still safe to eat the brisket. We are going to now, I kid you not, we're going to put our mix the beaten eggs into the other side, we mix uh, everything on this side, so we have to gently pour over here, and we've also lowered the temperature down to about a medium. Oh, that's too much oil. It's a okay. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. Next, whoop, be very, very careful with your, uh, again, oh, it's already starting to form, but we're going to try and cut as much rice as we can. Well, let's so, do it. 
we're gonna put out a few and like so. And then we'll cover that right. Now it's set. Uh, now we get to mix everything. Yeah. We're making chaos. So much chaos. Honestly, is it weird that the eggs make it look very, very cheesy? No, it's fine. It, it looks it smells really ridiculously good actually. Yeah, we're doing it. First we're gonna actually do this, since we're still letting this cook, we're gonna add the remaining half of the onion. And if you're wondering how I got the measurements, just look online, minced onion to regular onion. It calls for about a tablespoon each, so I managed to do about three. So a little bit more onion, but it's still good. We're next gonna be adding our salt. I'm using Himalayan salt, uh, pink salt because I prefer the taste of it. We're gonna make sure we give it a nice, generous amount of salt, but not too much. Close for a half, or half a teaspoon. Too bad. And Black pepper taste. And also, if we wanted to, we'll add, add any other seasonings if you want to as well. Honestly, if I want to, and I think I'm going to, because this should actually complement it very well. Garlic powder? Hell yeah. We're going to add a little bit of garlic powder to complement the taste of it all. Like so. And then, the very last thing that we need... Drizzle in soy sauce from the side of the pan. To the side of the pan, which we're going to just... Get and mix briefly. We're just going to put everything over here off yeah, to like the this. side. Like this, see? Just lip like that. We're gonna go over here. Like so. And then these about a, t a, tea a teaspoon and a half. So we're doing the one teaspoon, like so. It's a drizzle. It's a and we're gonna set it a one and a half. Right, but it's to drizzle it in. I don't know the measurements to drizzle it. So fuck it. Ah it went on me! Honestly, is it weird that because the egg is mostly gone, I can't tell where it ends or it all I know is that we currently have a burnt mint. It smells delicious. It doesn't seem burnt to me. How about the mint on these, bitch? Put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, tell Yeah, the point, point of me. Yeah, mint onions, bitch. No, but, tell that to the mint onions, bitch. Tell that that... I had a thing and you ruined it! I don't really ruined it. Me! Yeah, anyway. Love you, love you. Else, but also, look, look at this already. But again, looks it smells great. A bit more there, and and it says to garnish it with green onions, but we don't have that at the moment. So we will probably garnish it, probably with, with something else. But I honestly, I feel like this would be okay. And at the very end, we have Sanji's fried rice, and hopefully we do a comparison between how it looks at in the anime and this. Well, let's find out. At least we'll try. But also... Well, go ahead and taste it. You should taste it. You should have the first one. Alright, I'll have the first bite of it. Hot. It's really good, huh? Salty, you added a lot of salt. No, a lot, lot. Note to self, if you get corned beef and it says that it's saturated in a packet full of uh, water and brine, and it has salt. Don't add salt. Don't add a lot of salt. I didn't even add a lot of salt. I sprinkled a little bit, not a lot. We're going to try the rice and the egg first. Yep. So. Is it weird that the egg is non-existent? That's that's more of a fried rice. It's like the aperitif. I just a lot of burnt onion. That's okay. <laughs> hey, for the first attempt, I think you did pretty good. I think honestly, I think you should try this again someday. <sighs> yeah, but also I feel like um, I think we're gonna have, also have Rose and try in just a moment. Yeah. But honestly, as a critique of what what I approve of this. Yep. Uh, honestly, should, we should leave the minced onions last, not have a cookie beforehand, just let the core be cooked yep. its own, or cook, cook it beforehand. And less salt. And less salt. Not to mention, could probably add other seasonings. Honestly, I usually when I do beef products, I like to add like a little bit of paprika, so paprika would have also helped improve the flavor as well. Um, eggs, the recipe calls for two beaten eggs. I recommend doing about three beaten eggs to help 
with the flavors a bit. But otherwise, do we have any rankings for this show? If you want to do the tier system, that's fine. Well, on a, on a normal scale system of our tiers with SB S S A B yes. being superior and Saji approved and F being a failure to the point where we want to just toss it to the other side of the ocean. The ocean. Um, I say for my first attempt for this one, I want to just give it just a D. At Whoa. least I tried. I, let, let me be the. I'm going to have my own rating too. Granted, I'm going to be biased because it's my wife. Okay, now we have my wonderful husband eating it. Oh, that's amazing. You're running out the salt, and yeah, I'm tasting the burn. But I think trying this again would be a great idea because the actual rice itself is really good. Let's try the beef. I know, it's about medium rare, so that's not bad for the corned beef. It's pretty tasty. So, <laughs> what do you give for the S rankings? Do you think it's Sanji approved, or do you feel like we should toss it in the ocean? I would give it a B. Uh, really? You would give it a B? I think. I love fried rice normally. I think. Have it, if you didn't burn the onion, I'm trying not to be critiquing. If the onions weren't burned, if there was less salt, this would be an S for sure. This has been Sanji's Kitchen. But now back to the show. Quick note if you actually don't want to make this a full meal, that's going to be fine. I'll say this would be nice as a side dish. Excuse me, what did you Back to you guys, I guess. Wait, if I'm video, your audio, guys are audio. Do we exist simultaneously? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs>